Hi everyone, it's Akira. With a quick Warrior Cats news update, going over a quick news update posted on the Warrior Cats website. The theme they chose was New Year's resolutions from the story team. But given that this was posted on January 31st, and the stuff they have posted here they were planning on since 2023 or earlier, yeah, not really New Year's resolutions by definition. This is more just sharing their roadmap for 2024 and 2025. But enough nitpicking the article format. What do they have to say? First up, they mention finishing a Starless Clan this year, as well as releasing the 17th and 18th Super Editions in 2024 and 2025. Things we know. Also, they announced that Volume 2 of the Prophecies Begin graphic novel is being worked on. No release date, but I'm going to assume it's one per year, so if Volume 1 is 2024, 2 is likely 2025. So they're not waiting to see how well Volume 1 sells, they're already committed to Volume 2. They also say they're anticipating another announcement regarding the official Warrior Cuts animation deal with Tencent Video. If you're confused, I talked about this last week, by the way. My guess is that this announcement will be which production slash animation studio they're going to be working with. Tencent is just there to help with the funding and distribution. The actual production company is yet to be revealed. They also use two varies to emphasize how early they are in the process. So, um, we might not see it in this decade, or at all. Final thing, the ninth arc. It feels weird for them to hype it up so early, but here we are. They have already revealed that the ninth arc will be a thing, but now they tell us that they're actively working on books one and two, with one hint about the story. One of the central characters is an old friend whose adventures we've been following since the first Warriors arc. It doesn't say if they're a point of view cat or not, just central. So it could be something akin to Sandstorm's role in the Apprentice's quest, I'm guessing. Hopefully for more than one book though. Their description narrows it down a lot. Old friend means they're not a villain, and following since the first arc means they not only appeared in the first arc, but have shown up repeatedly beyond that. And I also want to assume they're not a character that was relevant in a Starless Clan, like Bramblestar, because the way they announce it makes it seem like it's a return to relevance for a character who's been hanging out in the shadows. So with all that in mind, our options are Thornclaw, Gladtail, Brightheart, Brackenfur, Tawny Pelt, or Barley. Now Thornclaw would make a lot of sense because he's kind of like a dad to Thunderclan. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's obviously going to be Brightheart. The Brightheart graphic novel last year was probably a big hit. The Warrior Cats team probably realized, hey, we haven't milked Brightheart for all she's worth yet. And then they had the best idea ever. The Brightheart mug. Oh, also, they want to give her a role in the newest Warrior Cats story arc. At least, that's my guess. Sorry, Cloudtail and Tawny Pelt stands. I think there's a clear winner of the popularity contest. Oh. Also on Warrior Cats news, they dropped a preview with the first three chapters for the upcoming book, Wind. Link in the description. Go read it now, so when I make a video on it, you can understand it. Alright, bye everyone.